Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're due for our Eden run. Let's, without further ado, just go for it. This is Eden, not the loss. I want to make sure I'm not making that mistake. 2 HP prayer card, little Chad death card, QV4B8BEY. Kind of a confusing seed. This is, uh, this is Wii Nintendo 64. This will be pretty exciting. I, by the way, completely forgot that there is totally a milestone on the way from win Nintendo 64 to win Nintendo 75. Ugh. I'll take it. Um, I don't like it, but I'll take it. That is obviously win 69, which I didn't even talk about. That is going to be momentous. If we can't get 100, 69 would at least... It's almost more meaningful than having a streak of 70, because it would be easy to remember, that's for sure. And also, of course, 69. Um, this is actually a really, really good start. All things considered, assuming we don't lose our eternal heart, I'll be able to pick up a, a really early HP, and as Eden, that's what you're concerned about, right? Is making sure that you actually have the ability to pick up uh, enough HP to keep yourself alive. If you can do that, you got nothing to fear, man. You know, it's just the same as any other run. And starting with two Spirit Hearts gives us a pretty nice window to, to get this done as well. And if we get... it's a little ahead of ourselves. I want to try to kick this over there if possible. Maybe get a crawl space. It was worth a shot. You got to admit that went pretty well. Um, if we, uh, it's, it's pretty unlikely, but if we get a trinket like Maggie's Faith, then all of a sudden we can get to the HP cap in like three floors. Okay, this is, this is lovely. Oh, I hate this room, man. Again, like I'm not super attached to the idea of going to boss rush, but all these flies that hang out over rocks can suck on whatever they don't want to suck on. I just want them to feel the pain. Uh, temperance will be useful on the next floor, especially if we can get an arcade uh, spawn. Then we can have, you know, basically double blood bank. We could use it on this floor starting right now, but uh, the only reason we do that is to make sure that we got an arcade on the next floor, and that's looking relatively likely as is anyway. Alright, this is a bit of a moment of truth, of course. I want to be a little careful about what we got going on here. It actually is important. I'm glad I used prayer card right away when it was available. Not because I'm worried about losing our HP, but because if we get a blood bank on the next floor, we're going to have uh, the inability to play it. So we kind of got to decide, do we want to use prayer card? Like, the, the best way to do things is to use prayer card three times on a floor. Then you get two HP, assuming you don't lose the eternal heart. If you can only use it twice, you're better off only using it once. And then, you know, doing something else with your time. Like, on, on the next floor, we might only use prayer card at the end. And prior to using prayer card, we'll actually have the ability to play a blood bank with this temperance card. I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but I think you understand where I'm coming from here. Um... I'd, I'd sort of rather not use Temperance right now because we only have one HP. We can't really get maximum efficiency out of it with one HP. That was dumb on my part. Should not have done that. Lost the Spirit Heart. Um, Balls of Steel makes it better. And Range Up doesn't hurt either. Okay, so we didn't really get punished for my idiocy there, which is nice. Uh, let's, let's move along then. Yeah, this is good. We're not going to get an arcade, and I think that's okay. You know, we have this Temperance card. Maybe we'll use it on the Caves too. Maybe we'll use it when we just need a quick little, you know, jolt of money for our next, uh... Our next shop purchase, or our first shop purchase, as the case may be. I'm not disliking our damage. Uh, it, it's okay. It's not amazing, but it's good enough. But, you know, whenever possible... I'll, I can't lie, I'm probably going to take advantage of the fact that we have a cube of meat and use it to deal damage to enemies, because that's just that's just what I do, you know, that's that's part of my ammo when I play Isaac. I use the orbitals offensively, it, it carries associated penalties and benefits with it. I did lose half a spirit heart, I'm not thrilled about that. I would like to go to our curse room. We can actually, you know what, that'll be a great opportunity to use our temperance card. We can save half a spirit heart by using our temperance card there. Not guaranteeing that that's what we're going to do. But it could be what we do. That guess. Or we could try using our Temperance card twice on this floor. And then we could have a little bit more capacity to play a Blood Bank. But I really doubt we're going to get to play it twice. Unless we have the ability to get a... Uh... Don't fire. Thank you. Unless we have the ability to get uh, into the shop. Which we could do right now and buy a battery. It's, it's a whole ball of wax, isn't it? It's a convoluted, convoluted situation. Convolated isn't even the word, which just convolates the situation even further. I gotta check the item room. 
As much as I would... We're not going to get three on this floor. So the only... Re like, we're not going to get three plays of the of the prayer card. So the only reason I'd be doing this is to try to get more plays on the blood bank. It's a little bit too much to ask, I think. Like, it's not that worthwhile. Let's go check out where our secret room is. Maybe we can get into our shop for free. We can get in our shop for free. And all of a sudden, this is actually starting to look way less conflated. There is a battery charge in here, and we don't really want to buy anything else. So let's do this and this. And this did cost us five cents, but I think it's going to allow us to get so much more than five cents in return. Because now we can play the, the blood bag, or the blood bank, sorry, with, with maximum efficiency. And we still have our key, which allows us to get to our shop. We may not look back on that as a defining moment on this run. But it's possible that we should, because that uh, worked out really well. Mysterious Liquid, I believe, comes with a small damage upgrade. Makes your tears look cool. Apart from that, not a huge deal. Uh, yeah, we will blow this up for sure. I'm going to go check out our second secret room. Not second secret room, I meant curse room. And you know what, I'm just going to lose the spirit, the half spirit heart. It's only a half spirit heart difference to do it optimally. And it is going to cost us a ton when it comes to... Uh, Re uh, not rerolling, but uh, walking around, you know, backtracking. That's what I'm looking for. It's got some kind of alliteration associated with it, if I recall. And there we go. We got the blood bag out of it. It actually didn't make us any money, but it did make us an HP upgrade, so that's well worth it, I'd say. Kind of wish we got a little bit more money out of it, but this is okay either way, and we're going to be fighting Monstro. Uh, he gets, I wouldn't say hard countered. It's not like we're going to shit on him because we have Mysterious Liquid, but he does get countered by it. It should do a little extra damage to him as a result of that, and course if we uh if we have the sack for it we can walk in there and do a decent amount of damage with cube of meat and all of a sudden we're looking uh, fairly solid here a dps upgrade from this would be very meaningful for me and would give me the kind of momentum i'd be happy with hp is fine assuming we can trade it away for a dps upgrade and that's you know basically what we got here it's not really a dps upgrade but you know what i mean and down to the next floor i don't think the ability to fly really gains us anything there so we're just uh we're on our way Still good. Good, good, good. Um, we're getting to the point where, as, as much as I can say that things have gone according to plan so far, and they have, we need to pick up a damage upgrade in the next, or a tiers upgrade, or you know what I mean. You know, a good tier effect, something like that. In the next two, three floors, if we don't have that happen, I'm going to be starting to get pretty nervous about our, our chances, because damage is so important when it comes to actually... Uh, it's not helpful, but not truly disgustingly bad yet. Um, and now we know there's a full health pill in our rotation, technically, if we're willing to work for it. Um, but yeah, the, you know, damage is so tied to your success. Gotta be a little careful here. I would love to get these guys to blow up that Tinted Rock, and they did it, and that is a damage upgrade, and all of a sudden I'm not as nervous as I was uh, relatively recently. We probably should have been hit like two or three times on this room, but it ended up working out fantastically, so I'm not gonna complain. Definitely our key is used on the shop here, and honestly, Little Gish is a great pickup. Also means if we ever fight Gish, we'll actually get the, a random boss item payout, which is not necessarily better, but it's better considering we already have Little Gish, you know? We have a chance to get Little Gish plus something else. And I'm going to be using uh, our Eternal Heart generator here, our prayer card, as much as possible. Ooh, stay away, thank you. There's another enemy that gets countered pretty hard by Mysterious Liquid. Not all enemies are really weak against it, but the ones that are weak, uh, it's very helpful to have this. So I'm not going to use my key to open the golden chest because I would rather use it to open the shop uh, and possibly get a battery. And if we get a battery charge from the shop or we buy the 9 volt, um, then we'll get another HP upgrade on this floor, which could be meaningful. And it looks like like we're definitely going to get two. Uh, two plays on the prayer card. Three is the magic number. You know, it's the odd numbers that give you the extra HP upgrades. So we got to be uh, paying attention to this. It's also why I'm not really using bombs to blow up mushrooms. I'm a little nervous. Oh, that's good. I'm a little nervous about uh, having enough money to buy something from the shop, depending on what it may or may not be. It's possible, but extremely unlikely, that we actually hit three naturally. I don't think it's going to happen, but on, on later floors, it absolutely will. Prayer card is a really good... I mean, it's one of those things where when it shows up on, like, the depths, you're like, oh, good, the prayer card. Like, it's basically not worthless, but not worth a whole hell of a lot. Um, this is a different situation. It's worth quite a lot. That's eh, not so bad. 
We got high speed anyway, and we can fly. Uh, it's not it's not uh, so bad in the early game because you have so much time. It's it's exactly the same principle that governs you know the usefulness of Maggie's faith. If you have Maggie's faith in the super early game, that could be the best trinket in the game. You know, in terms of the overall value you get from it. If you get it in the late game, it could be basically worthless. Man, I really do not want two hematomesis pills, but the balls of steel pill is nice. Let's just let's just be happy with that and then move along here. What do you got for me? The husk. You got the husk, you got the power. The husk, as you might be able to tell, is not weak to Mysterious Liquid. However, what does work in our benefit is that the husk is just weak in general, thereby making it so that this is going to be a super easy boss fight. Low percentage chance to deal with the devil. Doesn't mean no percentage chance, but uh, it, it did in this case, apparently. I think we'll blow up another one of these. The, there's just so many mushrooms that you're like, come on, the, the chance of magic mushroom is, is too high for me to say no to this. Now, before we do anything else, let's go to our shop. Um, we'd like to buy the battery charge before we get we waste too many rooms uh, on our existing charge. Broken Onk, I think, you know, we're, we're survivable enough that Liberty Cap is probably better right now. So there's something to be said for getting a sharp plug here. It costs us two spirit hearts to generate a red heart, but it's a little bit, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like a little bit too, Cute for me. I tend not to be the guy who likes to play Isaac in the, the cute ways all the time. I like to go for things that I think are practical, and uh, I don't fully think that that's uh, our most practical decision. Long term. It's basically like a, a much cuter version of the uh, converter. Plus, we could get a better space bar item later, and, and then it would be awesome. But um, for now, I think this is okay. Really happy with the way that this went down, actually. Because, as a result of this, now we will have uh, enough money to spawn an arcade on the next floor. A hematomesis pill is very useful for playing blood banks. And if you want to give me, like, I don't really want an IV bag, but if you want to give me more blood bags, like, just expedite the process of us getting enough HP to take every deal with the devil, whether it's good or not. You know, I want that level of financial freedom with our HP. I want to be able to take shit that I don't care about at all. We don't have to do it, I just want the ability to do it. Let's move along. That's going to be the end of this floor. How have I not found... Like, I... There we go. That's what I was getting at uh, there. Range up. Bombs are key. That's okay. Bad trip. We don't really want. Hematomesis a little better. Um, and now that we have five keys, we'll start opening up these golden chests. We are a little slow for boss rush, but no big deal. Matchstick. Eh, you can make the case that these are getting a little better than uh, Liberty Cap, but... I like Liberty Cap. I'm going to stick with it for now. And we did find our second secret room, and I'm going to choose to ignore it for now. The only other recourse or course of action that I would consider worthwhile there would be to explode it. And uh, I don't really want to waste my last bomb. I'm going to waste my last bomb here, though. Come on, Magic Mush. It was in that bottom left mushroom. I know it, man! Anyway, I'm just happy to have four keys. We're getting a lot of golden chests despite a lack of Guppy's tail. It is all good. This is a much better chance at a deal with the devil. Let's keep in mind with Curse of the Unknown right now, we have four HP, four red hearts, and uh, a lot of spirit hearts backing it up, but the, the four red heart part is important so that we can uh, plan for deals with the devil and also play an arcade if it shows up. I'm going to say that this is going to be a one HP floor, at least the, the natural way, so I, I, I do want to... You know what? No, I don't want to play Blood Banks. Let's just try to maximize our HP as much as possible, which will... Uh, be facilitated by us just using the prayer card as much as possible. It's a hands-off approach. Again, I'm the, I want to be the anti-cute. And people are like, no problem. You already got that going, bald man. Anyway, um, I think that this is... It, let's just maximize our HP. Admittedly, no. Okay, now that we have a... <laughs> I immediately regret that saying that because now we have an arcade. It had to show up this early for it to be useful to me, though. So we have four. Let's get ready. Three and a half. Three... Two and a half, two, one and a half, that's really good, one, a half, good, hematomesis, one, two, I'm going to play it two more times, we got money out of it, I think we're going to say that that's good, I'm going to go, I, I hope I didn't cost myself any spirit hearts, uh, I'm going to go pick this up, I'm going to play it one more, no, we're going to pick up all the stuff that we can actually, and we actually have this uh, boss trap room that we can use to govern or judge how much HP we have. Okay, so let's let's go play the blood bank twice, and if it doesn't pay out, we'll probably use our eternal heart after that, just so we can have a chance at getting to you know three plays of it on this floor, giving us two HP instead of one. Yeah. Okay. 
We'll use that to protect ourselves, so let's not go in there again. Uh, well, I'm, ha I'm happy at least that we got somewhere in the vicinity of 20 cents out of it. I think that's what we got. So that's going to allow us to get something from the shop here, which is going to be nice. And I do like this. Yeah, okay, that <laughs> ended up being substantially worth it. We get the goat head. Not the best deal with the devil, except for those times when it allows you to get every single great deal with the devil item. Which I'm hoping this run is going to entail. You can definitely argue that this has not been a difficult run so far, but at the same time, it's been kind of a cool run. Um, it, it's a cool Eden start, you know? Cool Eden, of course, also a character from uh, the terrible early 2000s Devin Sawa movie Slackers. But anyway, there's a reference that should be lost on people, but probably will not. Unfortunately for the human race. Um, ooh, careful please. It, you know, anytime we get an active item that allows us kind of like a playground to, to work around with is cool. Like, I would much rather have this in terms of like run engagement. I would much rather have an item like prayer card than just get like, you know, chemical peel. I, I mean, I'm happy to start with chemical peel, but at the same time, it's not nearly as, as interesting as a, uh, a start like this. Not a really good play there on my part, as you can probably divine. So now we need to remember... Well, we don't need to, but we should remember that we're on uh, half of an Eternal Heart. So let's stop taking that damage. Admittedly, that was knockback related, so I will take responsibility for it. But at the same time, it's just going to happen from time to time. You know, we're not going to be able to, with 100% efficiency, predict what our enemies are where they're going to go after they get hit by our shots. I think we got to be getting pretty close to full HP, and there's another Balls of Steel pill, so our Eternal Hearts are well taken care of. Luck up helps a lot. Okay, um, this is great. We have four HP and a half Eternal Heart, so this is what I need for the what I need to remember for this deal with the Devil coming up here. The Hollow. Ooh, stay away, please. If we're only going to get one HP on this floor, we actually could go back and play our Blood Bank a little bit more, but I think it's it's largely a little irrelevant. Uh, I, forgive me, but I think the Hollow might need a little bit of a rework sometimes. <laughs> that was, that was a little, a little messed up. Actually, we can go play the Blood Bank right now, now that I think about it. And we'll definitely take the Mark, that's an easy pickup. The only question is how much HP we have. I think we have three now. And we could get another one, if we just get one more charge. I mean, we haven't seen our item room or our shop yet, so that's not inconceivable. I mean, this is just a comfortable run. This is a run that's feeling pretty good, but it also gives me a lot to talk about, which I like. So if we're at three, we're at two and a half, two, one and a half. Ah, perfect. We don't need to worry about it. I was starting to be like, maybe I shouldn't, like I could have miscounted. I don't want to accidentally kill myself on a blood bank. That's a terrible streak, or a terrible way for the streak to end. Um, keep it to me, it's probably more useful in, in cool ways anyway. Um, I'm glad we got the payout there. Of course I'm glad I got the payout. That's the whole reason I was playing it in general, but... Uh, we're, we really are getting, like, the best of all possible worlds here. Damage is starting to look solid. You know, Torn Photo. I had, I gave myself a two-floor window to improve my damage. I picked up the Mark, Torn Photo, and uh, Small Rock. That's a pretty good haul. Like, there, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not going to win us the game. You know, th those are not going to win us the game, I should say, by themselves. But it's definitely a good start. And, of course, we got the Goat Head as well, which gives us great potential for the future. we got to be getting close to it. Yeah, there we are. I was going to say, we got to be getting close to the HP cap. We could gamble a little bit more on the... No, the blood bank's gone. Disregard. That's okay. That's okay. So, as of this point, spirit arts and red arts become uh, a lot less valuable, actually. So, we may want to consider, if possible, getting rid of our prayer card. I think we got a good balance. Oh, that's so good. If we have to stick with it a little longer, it doesn't really matter. But, um, you know, if, if we can mix it up, we can mix it up. Money equals power automatically gives us like plus one point something damage as a result of us, us being at 33 cents, like 1.2, 1.32, I guess, if my math is correct there. Kind of wish that was a greed fight. Uh, well, we don't really need another HP up right now. It's, ah, I feel real bad about the fact that I used blank card. Or sorry, I used a Hierophant card. Tell you what, we'll, we'll mitigate the loss to our damage here by blowing this up and, oh yeah, there's an extra 0 .08 damage. Lovely. And we'll do this because, uh, I mean, blank card human is not very good. Neither is blank card magician, which is our only available card. But um, blank card gives us so many good options for the future that I, I think that this is going to be what we want to roll with moving forward here. And I'm feeling really, really strong about this run. 64, man. 
Curse of the Unknown again. Uh, we're at 3 HP again. I want to just make sure that we keep that in mind as much as is humanly possible, because if I kill myself on a deal with the devil, that's how... I can't even remember if that was our last streak at this point, but it was like one of the last appreciable streak, streak lengths I had ended because of a Curse of the Unknown, like, brimstone pickup, where I have still yet to forgive myself, apparently, so I, uh, I really am wary about that stuff now. I think I've learned a lot on the streak so far, man. I've learned to appreciate Judas's Shadow more than I previously did. Uh, I've, I've learned to play a little bit more conservatively and actually have that... Oh, that was extremely dumb. Have that feel like the right, the right thing to do in a lot of situations. Like, I used to play full aggressively and be like, aggression is the best way to play Isaac. And now I'm like, you know what? I still think that you really want to take aggressive items most of the time. Be aggressive with your gambling. Um, but there's... There's occasionally do cause for um, do cause. Do, I don't know enough of do cause to follow through with that reference, but hopefully you you understand it and you laugh at it, and that's all I ask. Um, is a cheap laugh because we both recognize that song. But anyway, I forgot what I was gonna say. It doesn't matter. Sometimes caution is advisable, and. Uh, I think that's part of the reason we've been able to extend our streak so long. Also, never randoming the lost in like the first 50 options is definitely something that's helped. Oh, there's the Guppy's Paw. Okay. I don't think we want to use Guppy's Paw at all. I'm pretty happy with our HP balance. Let's see if we can get out of here for free. Mm, not enough bombs. I'll just take the hit. I mean, we have some bombs, but I'm thinking probably not enough. What would be our ideal uh, shop here? Greed, maybe, for money and, you know, greater purchasing power. I mean, I'm assuming it's going to have to happen at some point. Apart from that, maybe starter deck would be awesome. Deck of cards I don't really want. So I don't really want anything in there. And this is going to be one of those runs where I'm not going to be donating to our donation machine either, unless we get over 99 cents, which is unlikely to happen. Not, not crazy unlikely, because we do have a lot of HP, a good chance at an arcade on the next floor, and a hematomesis pill, but... We're probably unlikely to see it happen. 99 cents is, is pretty far away from us right here. Wow, that was a much worse haul than I would have expected. All right, let's refresh our memory. We're at 3 HP. Pretty amazing that we're actually still... We might be a little higher than that now that I think about it. We might be at 4 HP. I might have miscounted from Curse of the Unknown. Um, but we gotta remember that for our deals with the devil here. So this will be, obviously, a second level meat orbital, and that's, uh, that's A-OK -okay by me. I can live with it at least. Not the biggest damage upgrade in the game, but we're not really looking for the biggest damage upgrade in the game to come from the boss fight, but rather from the room that comes directly after it. This guy also gets countered pretty hard. I like when he gets slowed by Little Gish, and then he has to walk through the creep for Mysterious Liquid for longer. It's a, like a weird synergy, but it's working out pretty well. Yeah, this is... We have definitely enough HP to justify this, then Abaddon. And that's damage and HP sorted for us for probably the entirety of the game. We had the pieces in place for a win, but had not had the actual win yet. That is probably the actual win, and this is almost certainly our secret room. Wow, I should not have doubled down on the, like, 100% chance for that, I guess. It's pretty much completely my bad. I do think... Bear with me here. I do think Abaddon is a little bit overrated, but it is... It's, it's a little bit like ceremonial robes in that it's the... It's an item that you... Ha is not necessarily 100% super amazing, the best item in the game, but you have to take it. There's no good reason not to take it. It's like if somebody says, hey, do you want, um... You know, do you want cheese on your sandwich? And you're not lactose intolerant and it's free. You'd be like, fuck yeah, I want cheese on my sandwich. Proptosis here, also a pretty huge help in case you were uh, curious what my thoughts are on one of my favorite items in the game. I can't believe I didn't get hit there. I'm still happy with my trinket. And uh, let's, let's move along. This is getting to the point where a snowball is definitely conceivable here. Like uh, a lump of coal pickup, Tammy's head, death's touch. We can start to get really, really scary. Not that we're not scary already, but we can start to get, like, the sad bombs type stuff where people are like, this is the craziest run I've ever seen. I, I don't think this is the craziest run that you'll ever see, but this is uh, certainly a solid one, and we're moving on to random next. Uh, we'll see 
how that ends up working out. Ooh, would have been nice to get a second Guppy item there, but I have a good feeling in my gut that we probably have a pretty nice chance to become Guppy in general. So I thought we had four, no, I thought we had three HP, and, oh, it's going to be impossible to tell because Abaddon screws with it. So, I'm, I'm not mad at Abaddon, but I never got to figure out whether or not I was right. Cool, a golden key. It's not like, uh... We're likely to encounter too many golden chests, but if we do, we'll be able to open them. What I would really... Oh, right, we can't really play our blood bank. I forgot about that because we have no HP left now. Well, we could still play it. Whether or not we should is another question altogether. Um, we don't have any invincibility. If we could teleport out of it, we could play it and then get huge damage bonuses from money equals power. But th again, this is like a little bit getting ahead of myself. Don't really want that. Um... I'm assuming that we're probably going to fight Greed here, which is shitty if we get the Steam Sale. But if we get some money, it's worth the key. Well, the lack of key, I guess. No! Um, people are not going to like this, but I'm not going to take their options. It only gives us one choice. So 50, you're basically trading 0.6 damage for one choice of item. I don't think it's worth that much, um, especially without a reroll. So I'm just going to... I'll be the dick who's like, oh, there's options. I don't think it's that good. Another thing we're on the lookout for here is not good this late, I guess, is what I'm trying to get at. Another thing we're on the lookout here for sure is uh, a good tarot card or rune. Wheel of Fortune is could be could be good. And we got two of them, so I think that's okay. Glad we saved a bomb just in case. Makes my life easier here. Ooh, okay. I will I'm not gonna take mom's knife. Uh, and I know some people are that's gonna rub the wrong way, but I wanna get some like genuine big guppy tears here. That's going to do a lot of damage, but we don't need it. People complain if I take Mom's Knife, people complain if I don't take Mom's Knife. So, you know, get your complaining fingers in order. That's not me sandbagging. I'd, I'm i going to win. I'd just rather have the... Come on. I'd rather have the, the Guppy chance uh, with big tears. Obviously, you can, you can still use Guppy with Mom's Knife, but I don't think it's as impressive. Like, it doesn't look as cool. It doesn't feel as cool. You're still just mostly stabbing stuff. I want the flies to be doing a big chunk of my damage here. Blank card Wheel of Fortune is almost like a really, really slow and inefficient Yara rune that we can use. Assuming we have bombs left on the, the chest, we can pop these down and get some free items out of it. It's not it's not terrible. Not immediately useful, but not terrible. If I didn't have blank card, I would definitely be going with the uh, Shears right now. One of my favorite space bar items in the game, for sure. And we're probably not doing quite enough damage where the, the Shears would not be noticeable. So, that could change pretty quickly, but for now, they would still be a nice, uh, worthwhile addition to our run. Assuming we got the same thing on the other side here. Let's get out of here. Every cent I am going to pick up. I haven't turned over a new leaf. I just, uh, you know, would like some extra damage if it's at all possible. You're tempting, but I can't do it. I'm sorry. All right. With our second level orbital and the fact that our damage is just disgusting, this should be over in no time. I am a, I'm a little nervous HP-wise, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the Polaroid here instead of the negative. And we're not going to take Mom's Knife. 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 I'm so tempted to take it, but if I end up losing, then, you know, one one camp of people complaining will definitely be correct here. So I'm going to I'm going to leave that open. I'm going to say that there's a chance that, that could happen, but I'm going to I'm going to learn to live with that chance, I think. And I like this cuz I I almost have to play a little bit smarter, you know? Like I I, I can't just throw myself into it. Be like, oh, I can't lose because I have Mom's Knife, Proptosis, you know, all these great items, Abaddon, etc., etc. Plus, you know, it's probably... I should have looked at the mapping there. Um, it's probably worth taking. It's Mom's Knife. It's almost always worth taking. However, there is a benefit of not taking it, and that's that we do get to keep having more HP. So, uh, it's not like it's meaningless to not take it. Of course, you know, if we get enough Eternal Hearts, we're probably not going to be too worried about... Or uh, Spirit Hearts, we're not going to be too worried about the HP to begin with, but... Anyway, I digress. We will go back for that key. Now, that was probably the worst decision I've made with respect to dodging in Isaac in a long time. I got lucky that it worked out. It should not have worked out. I should have been punished for trying to go behind them there. But, I didn't. So, that's great. I do see a curse room. I don't mind paying one spirit heart to go into a curse room. I think that is A-OK -okay by me. I recognize that it's probably super annoying that I keep leaving consumables behind and then going back to get them. Just a bad habit. We will check to see if... Ah, uh, there's no secret room there. We'll just go in. Still not Guppy. That's alright. One Spirit Heart for the chance is, is well worth it. Could blow up the... Uh, 
to blow up the uh, Temperance Blood Bank for some extra money, but I want to make sure we still have bombs available to ourselves here. We do have the Polaroid, though, so if we play it once, we'd probably get, like, three or four plays out of it because of the permanent Polaroid invincibility. I don't... I don't think that's worth it yet. Bad trip again. Okay, we want to keep our Spear at our tie because it's possible we'll have two deals with the Devil we want to take on this... Uh, oh, that's so good that we have a Tinted Rock here. Um, Hematomesis. Not too worth it unless we get Dark Bomb, but if we do get Dark Bomb, that's really nice. And I just am continually choosing the wrong directions here. I don't want to give you my money, actually. Now that I think about it, we got to pay attention on this one. We did lose the HP cap there, but I think it's okay. Get a little preview of how our flies are going to help us out. Also, thank you, Rotten Baby. I, I haven't given Rotten Baby too much respect, but I'm really happy we have it. 52 cents. We can still, you know, all it takes is a little bit of money for us to reach the the damage cap for money equals power. And that's like another four, like another 1.7 damage or something like that. There's a long uh, way to go there, and, and we could conceivably get there pretty easily just by picking up pennies for the rest of the game, basically. We still got a, a, lot, of, a lot of game time left here. Super Bandage is fine. This stays open, so I kind of want to just maybe take Super Bandage next time if we don't get anything. But you know what? That sucked real bad. I don't think we want Super Bandage. We're already at the HP cap. Um, that sucked. We didn't get a genuine deal with the Devil. So as a result, Guppy Dream takes a huge hit. Still Curse Room's available. Wait, there we go. I was like, oh, we have Golden Key anyway. I will take this. Faster rate of fire, slightly lower damage. I think it's worth it. Let's uh, let's head down to the womb too. So this is where pretty much I usually say like this is what our run is going to look like for the near future, and this is what our run is going to look like for the near future. We got to make it to the chest like this, and then and then I think we're going to be golden. If we can just keep our HP reasonably good, get to the chest, start spawning a, an F ton of these uh, wheels of fortune, and uh, all of a sudden, you know, we're picking up 10, 20, 30 items in the chest maybe. It's already like we're in a great spot, but we could be in a hilariously great spot pretty quickly. As long as we, uh, you know, keep our bombs relatively high. I've been using more than I normally do. Or picking up less, or maybe a combination thereof. I think that was a red heart that dropped. Could really use some mapping as well. I mean, it's a little late. I'll probably pick up the soul on the chest. It's not the soul, sorry. The mind on the chest and then be like, oh, fantastic. Um, not that I would complain if you want to give me that instead of, like, uh, shoot the whoop or something. Or a unicorn stump, as so often happens. We're done with this floor already, which is super nice. And, uh, as long as we can keep doing the floors like this, we got no issues whatsoever. Ron Baby keeps spawning half-decent flies. I'll get as close as I can without putting myself super in harm's way, and Proptosis will carry the bulk of the damage bonus for us here. And we're already almost done with this. Up to the next floor. I'm not happy with that one damage we took, but hey, you can't always get what you want. And if you try sometimes, you just might find um, it's better with Vite. I was trying to... I'll, I'll break down that joke for you. Because it wasn't very good. So I will dismantle it. Much like on Cutthroat Kitchen, whenever somebody fucks up their dish, they just call it a dismantled or a deconstructed blah blah blah. That's what I'm going to do for you right here. I was like, wouldn't it be hilarious if the Rolling Stones had done some kind of marketing tie-in with you can't always get what you want? But it was with a product that didn't make sense. But it also has to rhyme with neat. So I ended up, I was like, Velveeta meat. Like, I just went with Veet, which is, I think, like a hair removal cream. A depilatory, if you will. Mmm, ah, we should check it out, shouldn't we? Even though it costs us a bomb. Two bombs is what I meant to say. It costs us two bombs, actually, is what I meant to say there. That's a two-bomb chest. You may think that I missed it. No, 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 my friend. Bob's brain? It's not so bad, but it's certainly not so good either. I was really hoping, as soon as I saw the question mark, I was like, Cricket's head. It's not Cricket's head. It's something much, much more insidious. Alrighty. Well, that may or may not have been worth it, but I, I don't think Bob's brain is going to be colossally terrible for us here. And we are getting a little bit more money, slowly but surely. We're not going to play our Wheels of Fortune, obviously, because... We are very happy with the amount of HP that we have right now. We're very happy with the amount of uh, money that we have right now, which is feeding into our awesome damage. So we'll pretty much just leave better alone. But I'd like to get more bombs. Be oh, guppy. Make me guppy. All right. Well, it's still pretty good here. Uh, I would uh, I would like more bombs so I can blow up the... Ah, blank card Hagalaz. It's not as exciting as I hoped. Um, 
so that I could blow up the, the slot machines that we create as we create them, you know what I mean? Like, it seems like it way, makes way more sense. There is a tinted rock back here. I'm not going to open it, though, because I think, again, the bombs are going to give us guaranteed items on the chest. So I think we should take advantage of that. It doesn't happen all that often. Blank card, Wheel of Fortune is a pretty rare run for me, at least. Usually you find something better. And Wheel of Fortune only really gets good on the chest. If only you guys... If only you would give me a starter deck on a shop, I could take advantage of that. Oh, didn't mean to do that. You're lucky. You're lucky, because that is a that is an executable offense. Executable offense. One of these days I'll get those correct. There we go. Alrighty. Should be an easy fight. Just took us a little while to get here. Easy fight against Isaac, which is my favorite Between the Buried and Me song. Let's just stand back here and... I don't know... Okay, oh, actually, I was like... I was pretty sure that the shots he fired couldn't actually reach me, but it was only because Little Gish had slowed him. But still, look at this damage that we're doing. Pretty disgusting. If we just get in there, like, very quickly and do some, like, damage with Proptosis at its maximum damage bonus range, it's so good. We can't do that with Bob's Brain, obviously, but... I got a little too close to the, the edge of the funnel there. That's all right. There is some HP left on this floor, but I think at this point we can be relatively assured of victory and moving on to our random run, which is always a lovely position to be in. Let's quickly blank card Wheel of Fortune, blow it up. Very good. Not very good. Ooh, okay, we got some interesting stuff going on here. Um, I'm gonna take Tough Love. I'm not gonna take Soy Milk yet. I'm gonna try to get some HP to fall on the ground. I thought about picking it up. I still might, actually. I'm gonna try to get it to fall on the ground, or some HP to fall on the ground, then kill myself Come back with Judas's Shadow and then pick up Soy Milk. It's a pretty big risk for not so much reward. Judgment. Regular Judgment. I'll just blow you up as well. Oh, I didn't know Judgment actually exploded into an item guaranteed here. That's cool. I'll probably never remember that because it's such like a, a fringe case scenario type thing, but appreciate it either way. I know I'm Mr. Zany. Like, I'm not just passing off not picking up soy milk as an excuse. My intention is to pick up soy milk. I just need a few spirit hearts to drop to guarantee that I won't kill myself in the process. You know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna go pick it up. I'm never gonna have the longest streak. What I do have is the most insane streak. I hope. So I'm gonna take him with me. And we might as well take Judas' Shadow at the same time. Let's do this! We picked up soy milk. I am expecting... Oh, our range fell, like, considerably. I'm expecting this to not bite me in the ass. If we die, let's keep in mind, we respawn as Judas' Shadow. Or with, as Dark Judas, with Judas' Shadow, I should say. This is pretty bad, actually. Um, that was not guppy, but I had high hopes for a second there. Balls of Steel Pill made it so we broke even on that room. Let's try this out. That's real terrible. Uh, and I see our boss fight over there. Alright, here we go. Let's try this on for size. We gotta get Bob's brain out of the equation first, because I gotta get like right next to enemies in order to attack them, so uh, we gotta do it this way. I'm so happy we took the Polaroid and didn't go to the dark room, because I need this permanent Polaroid invincibility to feel confident. I mean, we have a lot of HP. I don't think I'm genuinely at like a huge risk of terrible things happening to me here, but you gotta admit that they could. Like, this is a little, a little dangerous there. This is a pretty jacked up situation. You would never do this under normal circumstances, but I like to see, you know, I I don't really like soy milk, I gotta be honest, but I have liked some runs I've had with soy milk. There's a noted difference there. Um, so I, I always like to give it a chance if it's not gonna be, like, definitely fatal. I will admit, this one looks surprisingly fatal. This is probably the toughest room we're gonna encounter, so let's just, you know, get it out of the way as quickly as possible. Super psyched to have Mysterious Liquid. Um, any damage that we can pick up here is basically a, a huge boon for us, and I really appreciate that uh, Bob's Brain pickup as well. It took soy milk to make me appreciate Bob's Brain, but I'll take it either way. Oh, man. Okay, so Undefined is a... that's a wacky one. It's good, but it it and... Uh, it and Blank Card with Wheel of Fortune almost accomplish the same thing right now. If my only goal is to, like, pick up items then they both accomplish very similar things. So I think I'll just use... Oh, that, no. The, the one item I will not touch. Um, you know what? I'll tell you what. 
We will take Undefined with us, but first we'll blow up two of these. And we got Spoonbender, which I think is pretty good. Brother Bobby, which is fine. And then we'll try to get some more items. And then we'll use Undefined. If we get Error Rooms good, and we'll just keep using these Error Rooms until we run out of keys. And I think that this actually makes our run stronger. It also makes it crazier, of course, but it makes it stronger as well, so I, I actually appreciate it. That's great. Uh, not really, actually, because we lose permanent Polaroid invincibility, so I won't take it. We, we may draw the line somewhere. Because it is the truth that, um, you know, that this is not... <laughs> well, it, it makes my life easier because we get more items, but also we have to kill way more enemies, so... You know, there is, a, there is a negative associated with it, without a doubt. One of these is still alive. Which one is? Oh, it was that one. Okay. So we gotta not be like... Oh, that's so good. Now I feel great about soy milk, now that we picked up the mulligan. But, um... It's, it's not fair to say that this 100% makes our run easier. Like, doing the chest multiple times tends to make it easier, as long as you're strong in the first place. But, you know, we... It's gonna be a little risky, but that um, mulligan pickup is actually a huge bonus for us, so... I'll, I'll stick to standard, you know, Northern Lion undefined rules uh, applying here, which is basically, as long as we keep getting error rooms, uh, I will, oh, okay, be careful. As long as we keep getting error rooms, I'll continue to do more chess, but if we ever find Blue Baby and don't get an error room, like, in that vicinity, then I just finish the game. I think that's, that's completely fair. We don't really want that. And we've reached a dead end here. Kind of want to get out of this floor and, and pick up some more items right now, because this is... This is some bullshit, man. Yo, yo, stop. Where is my, uh... Where's my Bobby B at? He must have been in there somewhere, because there's been an explosion. Oh, my God. We're not summoning quite as many flies as I'd like to be 100% honest with you. This is actually starting to scare me a little bit, but what gives me great pause is the, um reality of the situation, which is that if we die... Well, first off, we can always pick up SMB Superfan if invincibility isn't as important as survival. Um, at least, well, and by always, I mean for the rest of this floor. However, uh, we're gonna respawn as Judas' Shadow either way. That guess Balls of Steel again? So good. We could kill ourselves to respawn as Judas' Shadow and then use Balls of Steel. It's something I'm gonna think about here. I'm trying to do, and this is, it's tough, man. I'm trying to do a delicate balance between absurdity and not only strategy, but also, you know, making sure I don't fucking die. And it's, uh, it's a balance that's getting more and more difficult as more and more moving parts get involved here. If we can get a few more spirit hard drops, I'd feel totally fine about this. Okay, that makes our decision for us. I really, 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 really do not want to fight Mega Satan, but I'll tell you what. We'll take the nail, and we'll use it. And we'll take a uh, dance key, and we'll go down to the next floor. Yes, we will go down to the next floor. We've we've gotten rid of undefined, which means this is our last chest, unless we find like a forget me now, which is gonna, inevitably going to be in here now. Infestation two, dry baby, D four. What in the fuck is happening here? Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll open the door. I'll use this. I'll take my D four, and I'll reroll fucking everything we got. Now what do we have going on? Hilariously fast rate of fire Ipecac hot bombs. Now we won't have Judas's shadow. So if we're doing like super low damage, we do have Lord of the Flies, obviously, as well. If we're doing super low damage with our shots here, we might actually just be fucked. And the great part about this, this is my favorite element of this whole shebang here, is that we have no idea how our damage looks. <laughs> like sincerely none. Uh, it looks like it's a lot though, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bitch about it too much. It looks like we're in a pretty great situation. We can hurt ourselves, obviously. Yeah, we're we're gonna be able to do a lot of damage to these enemies quickly. Now we could, with uh, you know, inopportune play, end up hurting ourselves quite a lot as it's happening. But also, the the extra fires that come down are what's gonna do the most damage, I think. So this is one hell of a, a 64th run. I think you got to admit this is pretty ridiculous. Oh, how are you? I was gonna say you gotta be dead. This is, uh, this is absurd. It very easily could have gone completely in the other direction at about a hundred different opportunities, but instead, it's not going to, and I appreciate that because I think I, I, you know, allow me to toot my own horn. I feel like we earned this one a little bit, and good lord. This is very satisfying 
It's like some Super Smash TV shit with a grenade launcher. Anyway, thanks for watching. <laughs> Very simple one, I guess. We'll be back with a random run next. That is uh, 64 wins in a row. Pretty exciting. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.